George was first grader, the teacher read him a story out of a little animal book. The animals all wore clothes and talked, and the teacher closed the book and said, of course, animals can't really walk on their hind legs. Little old Jordan, big eyes, eager to contribute, raises her hand and says they can when they're breeding. I think my first memory of hunting as a kid was shooting a rabbit with a 22. And uh, it was a traumatic experience for <laughs> a young Jordan, but I was back after it the next couple days and uh, never really stopped. My, I guess, life as an adventure has to do a lot with my dad. He's that way, but more so what he let me do at young ages that I think most parents would never let their child do. My parents have always been in big support and pushed me to do whatever it is that I wanted to do. And yeah, just have to thank them for that. My family's been in this upper part of the Great Plains for quite a long while. Jordan's great, great grandfather was an ox team freighter between the steamboats on the Missouri River and the gold fields in the Black Hills. Was in the tractor one day doing ranch stuff and was listening to podcasts and there was no podcast that was just talking about gear. So I went to the guys at Rockslide and said, hey, there's definitely a spot for this in the, the industry. Would you guys step behind me if I did it? And they're like, yeah, whatever you need. So I started to rock cast. I just nerd out over it. And I like trying different stuff and for, I like trying different gear things for different purposes and different hunts. And, and I think that that brings value to a consumer because they might've been saving for a hunt for years, five years to come out west and go on one five day hunt. And if they have a piece of gear fail, that could be like the end of their hunt or greatly cut a big portion out of it. Before this hunt, I think that I've been on 13 total sheep hunts filming. This will be number 14, getting to go to Alaska doll sheep hunting. Usually I'm the one behind the lens, but being in front of the camera with tag is a little bit different. There's a lot of, a lot of people that are, you know, relying on me essentially to do my job, make a good shot. And this is not an easy hunt and we're probably gonna endure some hell. So I need to, uh, the pressure is there definitely to make a good shot if we get a chance. Good to meet you. Hi. All right. Glad you guys all made it in. Yeah. We just landed at the lake where the Outfitters Lodge is, and we're going to be super coming out from here. Season opens on Tuesday. It's currently Sunday, I think. And uh, yeah, weather's super nice. And it's beautiful up here. We're ready to go kill a sheep. We're at 410 checking dope before we head up the mountain. So gunshot really good at 100. So we'll check them out here at distance, and then we'll. Get up there. There you go. Your perfect elevation. I feel good. So we showed up uh, to Fairbanks, Alaska, which is by anybody's definition, a very remote place. And then we got on a chartered flight from Fairbanks, an hour and a half north into the mountains. And from there, we got on another plane and flew on a Super Cub even deeper into the mountains. So we were about as far back as you could possibly get and still be in the U.S. It's morning one on the mountain, uh, day before season, and we found the rams again that we were watching last night. And two pretty good ones in there. One, I would say, exceptional. One, they've worked their way a little bit closer to us, a little bit better side of the mountain than they were on last night, probably. So 
We're just gonna watch and see what they do and uh, then maybe make a move this evening to get in position for the opener. So one thing that's really cool for me is to get to learn something new. Um, I've been hunting my whole life, so the concepts are very similar. A lot of the big game hunting is very similar to the way the Army works as far as finding the animal, fixing it, and then developing a better plan to actually go in there and harvest the animal. So the concepts are very similar. It's just kind of the nuanced stuff. You know, that's where Jordan comes in as far as great gear, learning, you know, not, not just necessarily taking what you have to take because that's all you got, um, but actually being able to pick from really good equipment, the finest equipment that we've got available to us to go to these extreme environments. So the four rams that we were looking at kind of wrapped around the space went through saddle into the next drainage over. So opening day is approximately 11 hours. So packing all of our stuff up, we're gonna move up and try to get eyes on them, but not get too close. And hopefully dog on them and we might shoot them at midnight, opening morning. those little rams right around the corner the big ones still didn't come out so we got our packs we packed up here to the top and we ran out and found a couple little ones we have one little one by himself that seems strange back over here so we're gonna eat and then go check over there and hopefully we can find him and get one shot broke this evening it's like 8 30 at night now got found one decent ram quite a ways away um, Wes found six rams that a long ways away in the other direction and then we found there's two little rams right here not too far from us but I haven't seen the larger two that we originally found before season started so we're just I'm gonna sit up here and glass some more and hopefully they roll out sometime soon. So the way that I look at Jordan is if my son or my daughter walked up to me today and said, Dad, I want to be a hunter. Who should I who should I look at? Who should I be like? It would be Jordan Budd. And the reason for that being is she's not just a amazing hunter with excellent talent, with all of the understanding of things from videography to film to, to hunting in the woods to doing all of the things that incorporate the outdoors. She's a great person. She is a person that all of us looked at and said, you can't find a flaw in her. Well, it is a uh... Day three, total of the hunt, I think, of the season being open. Actually, it might be day four. I don't remember. We spent all day in the tent yesterday. All day. 100% of the time. Except for, I think I got out once. And uh, I was starting to know what a crazy person felt like. All right, day four. We've been hiking all day. Finally got eyes on four rams. Long ways away. But we got them spotted at least. 
we just wrap camp up and we're gonna push on. We have a couple days of nice weather. And then my inreach set is gonna turn back to this kind of, so. We got a couple day window and we're just gonna make a camp. over in this little fold and we're bedded on some rocks. We decided to make a play for him. We popped up and uh, I saw Wes pop through the rocks. And at first there was like no reaction. So I thought, oh man, they're gone. Like they slipped out on us. And then he pops his head down really quick and he's like, come on, come on. That was incredible. Wow. Nice job. <laughs> so after it happened, I sent my dad and in reach. And I think I just said I got him. And I had been sending him messages like the whole trip, updating him on what was going on. And uh, he never responded. And after I shot the sheep, I sent him the message. I said I got him. And he texted back like that. And I think I just said, best news I've heard all day. <laughs> Raising the kid has been a lot of fun. I I know all the last few years, especially since she's been traveling a little bit and doing a few more things, I'll I'll be in the hay field all hot and greasy and dirt and bugs and snakes and my phone will vibrate in my pocket. And there's a text picture of Jordan standing on some cotton picked mountain top in British Columbia with a big smile on her face. No text, just a picture. And uh, this happens quite often and, and uh, I just I just gotta say it plum tickles the hell out of me. <laughs> so so anyway, we've had a we've had a good time. We don't anticipate that is gonna change. Uh, watching this kid over over the rest of her career I think it's going to be a real treat, and I am pumped.